right, here we have the Department 56 Halloween Snow Village line Retching Pumpkin Diner. So this is a piece from uh, 2011 is when this one was released. Not sure when this one was retired. Can't remember exactly. I'd have to look that up. If I find it uh, before this video post, I'll put it in in kind of a post and some text right here. But just a really cool piece. Never really wanted it, to be honest with you. Uh, when this one came out, wasn't one on my bucket list or anything like that. But as it's grown, as I've seen other people's villages displayed, this pumpkin with the retching insides coming out was just too cool. Every time I saw it, it's like, wow, that's, that's a really cool, really cool piece. So it's something we wanted to pick up. And uh, yeah, so this one was on an auction, online auction that we picked up several pieces from. And this was one of them. We, uh, we saw it, kind of had to have it. So was okay spending whatever it took to take this one home. And so, yeah, here it is. So there it is, the Retching Pumpkin Diner. Just a super cool piece. One, again, that just when it came out, wasn't interesting to me at all. And the more and more I've gotten into it, the more this one is just too awesome. Hopefully you have this one in your piece because it is a uh, very sought after kind of, I don't know if I'd call it rare, but definitely one that's hard to get your hands on. And when you can find one for sale, you know, they think a lot of them. So when I saw this on the auction house, had to pick it up. Daily specials, CD pumpkin stew, pumpkin gut soup, Jack's goulash. All meals include moldy biscuits, a very seedy cafe. And so this sign actually also, I'll show you this sign, comes off. It's just stuck in there, as you can see. Uh, it's packaged separately in the box there. And uh, there's just a hole right there that it fits into. And this sign, Deadly Treats, Bloody Pumpkin Pudding, Rotten Pumpkin milkshake, Milkshakes, Chunky Pumpkin Pie, Slimy Jacks Bars. And I'll just kind of do a little spin around here so you can see everything. Um, just a nice little gathering of pumpkins there. Keep out sign on the back. Right, so yeah, there you go. There's the, you can see that door is slightly ajar, allowing some light to come through there. Pumpkins everywhere, and you can see the kind of pumpkin coming out of that bucket in front. Over here on the side, on the back, obviously you saw those. And then you just have some dripping pumpkin guts all over the top. And it's just a super cool piece, but obviously the main event right there, the glowing lava-like innards of the pumpkin so again just one that i had to pick up this one was on that auction house like i was telling you before and um one that i just knew that i was going to end up buying the final bid price was 120 and the premium was 24 dollars for a total of 144 plus shipping i did combine the shipping for uh this the harley davidson last chance garage and a couple of accessory pieces so uh, all told, the shipping was like $40, uh, so split that up uh, amongst all the pieces. Not sure what that comes out to, but this one was super cool to have, and for you know $144, I was cool with that. Online, they're going for a lot of money, and uh, so that was why I was happy to get this one in the, in the line. This was actually the number one piece that I really wanted to get in this auction, uh, just because when I saw it, really wanted it <laughs> and uh you know it's, it's been since 2011 we don't have it in our village and every year i see somebody else's uh display it's just one of those reminders that you don't have this piece and so now we do not exactly sure where we're gonna put it um we got a couple of we got a lot of new pieces since our last display so we're gonna have a lot of work to do on on the display this year hopefully we can get it all in I get it all done for a nice little display, but 
we have a little looking into, you know, what, how do you have this one set up? Do you have kind of an entertainment district with uh, some restaurants and, and walkabouts and kind of a cityscape area? Or, you know, I'd love to know how you're displaying yours and your display. I might have to go on YouTube and look at some other people's and try to get some ideas just to see exactly how we want to set this one up. Got a couple ideas in my head, but just not 100% sure. But the detailing on it, super great. And the lighting is one of the best Department 56 Halloween has. You see that dripping pumpkin right there above the front door, coming off the roof. Just too cool. Great piece. So if you ever see this one for a relatively good price, I suggest you snatch it up because they don't come for sale very often and when they do they think a lot of them so go ahead and snatch it up if you can till next time let me know what you think in the comments below of this piece i love it uh hope you do too